With an expected ceasefire in Lebanon hours away, the IDF said its forces reached the Litani River for the first time since it evacuated its self-declared security zone in southern Lebanon in the year 2000. The river is the farthest point in southern Lebanon since the ground operation began in September, and also the line behind which Hezbollah forces are to retreat under the proposed agreement. Israeli commando forces also raided the Saluki area for the first time, where they located hundreds of weapons, underground infrastructure, and dozens of ready-to-fire rocket launchers. Troops from the IDF's Eastern Division seized control of abandoned Lebanese army posts and planted Israeli flags, while vowing to continue as deep as necessary. Meanwhile, the IDF launched extensive airstrikes on Hezbollah sites and financial facilities in Beirut, not only in the southern suburbs. More than 25 sites were struck following evacuation warnings. In northern Israel, rocket sirens blared throughout Tuesday, triggered by Hezbollah rocket and drone strikes. Two elderly people and a soldier were seriously injured in the attacks. Lebanese media reported that the ceasefire is expected to be announced on Tuesday night and will take effect on Wednesday morning at 10 a.m. local time. Until then, the IDF Home Front Command issued new restrictions in several areas of northern Israel. There is concern that Hezbollah will take advantage of the final hours to ramp up rocket attacks before a ceasefire comes into effect.